Hello and welcome to the vlog. Now, today's vlog is all about little bits of DIY, odd jobs, just fettling the boat a little bit because it's the first sort of day when I've really had a chance to just look about and sort out one or two things. Now, I know I've been on the boat officially for two weeks, but in fact, in that two weeks, I've either spent time um, with family at their homes, or when I've been on the boat, I've been showing friends and family the boat. We've been on little mini cruises, chugs up and down the local canal. One of which, of course, you may have seen if you saw the last video, that was with dad, just going for a couple of hours up and down. But also another friend came on board, an experienced canal boater, and we went on a two and a half day chug to Braunston took some video of that and I will be putting that trip up online very soon. The upshot of all that means that it's actually been surprisingly busy for the last couple of weeks and I've only really now had a chance to settle down, look about the boat and think, ah, that needs fixing or oh, that could be improved. So one or two little odd jobs have either been done or now need doing. For example, you may recall from a previous video I was moaning about the sealant gunge in the shower cubicle, which was very, very old, very cracked and clearly needed replacing. So, me and my good friend Mr Chisel here had a good go at scraping out the old stuff and I have now replaced that with new sealant gunge, which is all dried off nicely and that is pretty much done. There's a tiny bit left to do, but basically that's one good job done, a big tick on the old things to do list, but there is more to do as well. For example, in the bedroom, although there is plenty of cupboard space and storage space generally, there is very little hanging space. And as you can see, I'm wearing a, a nice fleece here in the evenings and in the mornings. I like to wear a little bit of a toweling dressing gown probably too much information there. But anyway, I want somewhere to hang it up instead of actually having to just put it in the cupboard. So I have bought myself some hooks, little brass hooks, and I'm gonna drill some holes and hang those up on the back of the doors so I can hang clothes up on those as well. Also, another little DIY job that needs doing, in the bilges underneath the engine, there is some nasty oily water. Now, previously, I had mopped all that out. Again, you may have seen that in a prior video, but since running the engine a bit, more nasty oily water has accumulated. This is very annoying, but I have a suspicion this is what happens with canal boats. Every canal boat I've looked at seemed to have oily water in the bilges. But I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I like a nice dry bilge, and I don't like the fact that my engine is spewing out a little bit of oily water, so I need to mop it up somehow. But hmm, how best to mop it up. Well, I was mulling over various solutions when the marina manager here, Neil, said, ah, what you need to get? Some of these. Nappies, or if you're watching in America, diapers. This is a pack of 20 Pampers Baby Dry, and apparently they're so good, obviously this is what they're designed for, soaking up moisture. What you do is throw a couple of these down into the bilge and it should mop all the gunge up. So, a few things to uh, crack on with. Let's start, I think, with putting some of these up. The first order of business is to get the appropriate tools, or thingamajigs, as we technical folk call them, out of the toolbox. Then it's off to the back bedroom, where, as you can see, the door leading to the engine room is devoid of anything to hang my overalls on. And it's the same story if you swivel through 180 degrees and look at the door leading to the bathroom corridor. Likewise in the bathroom itself, where you'd think some clothes hooks would be mandatory. But this should be a straightforward fix. First of all, offer up the newly purchased hook to work out where I want it. Mmm, looking good. Then mark through the first hole in the hook with a pencil, so I've got something to line the drill up against. I've sped this next bit up, as I drilled quite slowly and carefully, but hole number one was soon dug out. The first screw then goes into the hook and holds it so that I can get hole number two drilled precisely where it needs to be. The trick I've learned here is to make sure you're holding the drill level, both in terms of up and down angle as well as side to side. Why they don't make drills with little half dome spirit levels on the ends I will never know, as it would make life a lot easier and DIY a lot better. Here's the result of hook number one, pretty pleased with this, solidly into the door and the screws nice and flush to the metal as well. Better still, I didn't accidentally drill all the way through the door, which is the kind of numptyish thing I normally do, so that's a bonus. 
No boring you with the boring of the other holes, but here's the finished result. Another decent one there, though the screw's not quite so flush this time. And proving that they do in fact hold a weight, here's my lovely fleece on the back door, though this one I had trouble with as the bottom screw refused to go in all the way, and I virtually took the crosshead out as I tried to make it do so. That screw, I think we can agree, is never coming out again. I think I drilled the hole a millimetre too short, damn it. Now back to the shower cubicle, where a cosmetic upgrade was in store. The existing shower hose is all black and manky with years of horrid mould and yuck which wouldn't scrape off. Now by lucky coincidence, the marina held a bring and buy sale, and I picked up a shiny new hose for just a third of its stickered price. Inside the pack, one and a half metres of hose plus two washers. A little more enthusiastic screwing, this time in the shower cubicle, and both the tap and the nozzle end of the hose were in place. But disaster again, as the damn thing leaked, and I want all that water on me, not drizzling down the hose. Diagnosis involved lots of peering at the socket, pushing the washers in better with a screwdriver so they were seated correctly, and finally tightening it all up even more than I'd done before. Success! And the shower cubicle is now looking all ready to get hot and steamy. Speaking of which, it's time to get really dirty. Yes, down in the bilges, where all that oily, watery muck has accumulated under the engine. That's up against the front bulkhead next to the bedroom. This is at the back, near to the prop shaft and stern gear. Now, I don't have any children. Frankly, I prefer animals. So I've never had to wrestle with a packet of pampers before. But all in the name of science, here I was giving it a go. Nappy unveiled and stretched out, it was dropped into the bilge, and then with judicious use of a long pointy instrument, actually my boat hook which was the most suitable implement to hand, the nappy got wiped around in the sludge for a bit before being retrieved and slung in a bucket. Incidentally, here's a top tip. The elasticated waste may be great for sealing in your child's poo and wee, but it's unhelpful when it comes to mopping oil. A few quick snips with the scissors and the diaper is defeated. It then lies flat and is easier to squidge around. Five nappies later, and OK, yes, there is still some muck down there, but not the great pool there was before, so I'm classing that as a reasonable success. And I've got 15 pampers left if I want to do it again. Time for a clean-up in my shiny shower, and the reward of a cup of tea, I think. So, all in all, not a bad bit of DIY. I now have hooks to put my fleece on, and also a non-oily bilge. Or at least I think so, because I looked in there again, and there seems to be a new little pool. Not as bad as that first one, but a little pool of oily water nonetheless. So I'm not sure if the engine is just generally leaking. I haven't run it. It's just been sitting there, and I'm still not sure if it's just leaking anyway, so it's something I shall have to keep an eye across. Now, new videos coming up soon. The next one will be the two and a half day cruise to Braunston with my friend Peter, and then one after that, very exciting, uh, a video all about my TV aerial connection. So stay tuned for that, won't you? Thank you as ever for watching this. I really do appreciate it. If you like the video, give it a click on the like button. You need to be logged in to your YouTube account to be able to see the like button and click on it. But if you do, it's very much appreciated. And if you want to be notified when the next videos are put up, again, you need to log into YouTube and click on the subscribe button on screen. And then YouTube should tell you when the next video goes up. Thank you very much for watching this one. Cheers now. Bye bye.